recording immediately after, so uh, welcome back to our isolation challenge. Basically, Sage Paw aged up, so now an apprentice, but uh, he is experiencing some sprains that are making it difficult, and Spindle Frost has healed from her um, injury from her foot being caught in a two-leg trap and is now doing a lot better, training her son in the way of a warrior and just living life. I think the two have gotten a lot closer. I mean, platonic love and admiration. And he's stopped mostly disliking her. I think that after they had a difficult conversation last episode, he's really started to appreciate his mom more and realize, oh, this is actually a bad situation that we're in, and I'm glad that you're able to be there for me. Like, he's got a lot of respect for her, I think he really respects the decision that she made, and um, even though it was difficult, it was definitely the right one. So... Yeah, let's just... next moon. Sagepaw's brain has healed, that's great. And Sagepaw notices Spindle Frost sulking around camp again, probably missing some of her old clanmates. Spindle Frost realized they were too harsh on their judgment of Sagepaw. Yeah, I think that's fair, she's been a little harsh on him. And Sagepaw spends some time with Spindle Frost, and they both end up with a understanding of each other a little bit better. It feels like um, uh, the emotional climax of the movie The Mother, which made me sob. It was such a good movie. Go watch that movie. Um, yeah, okay. Another, another clear, warm day. It was almost hot. It was almost a hot day, but no, just, just clear and warm. So... How is Spindle Frost doing? She's eavesdropping on her son. And Sagepaw is practicing battle moves. You are getting up there. You might even be a warrior next moon. This episode, we should be able to let people in. Um, and, and Spindle Frost, you are, I think, eavesdropping specifically to make sure he's doing the moves right. Uh, you guys, go train. Spindle Frost takes him out to see a big porcupine and patrol spotted, patrol meaning her, in one of the many glades of Ivy Clan's forest. Sagepaw refuses to believe that the happy, snuffly creature uh, they visit can possibly be dangerous prey and starts an argument. Sounds about right. Um, but we also get some prey. That's two. No. Cloud. Two and five. That's seven prey because they're both have a higher uh, they both have level three scores. That is a seventy-five percent chance of something bad happening. So that's one. Two eighty-three. Who's eating that? He is that's twenty-five again. Three, close call, but very good. Three, four, five, six. Six is dangerous. Who's eating? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's unless it's bad. No, nope, fine. And fine. Okay, great. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. So, lots of prey they're catching. We're just about to hit Leaf Fall, which, if you remember from last episode, um, actually is good, right? We have bonuses where, we, where we're going to get plus five. We also have. Um, we also have a chance for something else, because we got way over what's our other thing that we could have gotten. Scrolling past it. Where is that? Yeah, another boost, which is... Two, that means our death rolls are decreased, but... 
doesn't really do much for us. So, yeah, let's just hop into Leaf Fall. Alright, taking a peek actually at uh, Leaf Fall weather, the only real danger we have is thunderstorms. So we'll watch out for that. Uh, but it looks like we do have a new warrior. Oh, and a decoration. That's awesome. Okay, Smuddle Frost sits in the crowd, chest puffed out in pride as they watch Sage Paw be named Sage Flare and honored for their hard work. They consider themselves lucky to be able to train such an amazing young cat and look forward to seeing the warrior they become. Smuddle Frost gives Sage Flare something to adorn their pelt as congratulations. That is awesome. And once again, just a clear, warm day. We're having excellent weather. No complaints here for me. Spindle Frost is having a wonderful time discussing recent news with Sagepaw. Spindle Frost thinks Sagepaw is very helpful, and Sage Flare nods politely as Spindle Frost passes by. So. One more moon, and we should be welcoming in new cats. I love this fog that's going on. I think that's awesome. Spindle Frost is wondering what it's like to live with two legs. And Sage Flare is eavesdropping on Spindle Frost. And you are fairly clairvoyant and cunning. And you have crow feathers. That's awesome. You guys, this relationship, you don't dislike your mother anymore. And you have three green bars. <laughs> Probably going for your fourth with trust. I think that's awesome. Um, I love these two relationships. It's both like complicated and just a lot more complex than than meets the eye. You know, there's a lot of emotions going here. And I think as celebration, I'm gonna send them on solo patrols. I am going to. Roll a d4 to see what they're going to go on. Three, so she's going to go on a border patrol. Spindle Frost tracks the scent of a large dog. Um, I think she's going to avoid that. Decides not to pursue the creature, especially as it hasn't crossed the border. And our prey is now down to a d6 dice, so that is... You catch one prey, but we also have plus three. I'm going to say this plus three are um, all going to be safe. Only the prey that we ourselves catch are going to be affected. And our second patrol. I'm going to roll. What are you going to go on? Three, also a border patrol. Sagepaw hears rumors that there is a badger denning. You're cunning, clairvoyant. Ah, go check it out. Fingers crossed. Uh, concern for the clan. Sageflare creeps through the woods, searching for the set. It's empty when they arrive. It's on her out forge and wait. The sunlight blinds the beast as it fumbles its way back, and Sageflare attacks, but. All it gives them is the opportunity for a lucky hit and an easy retreat, and Sage Flare must give up the idea of saving this clan single pod. Oh, what a, what a naive young guy. And he gets two prey, so that is three. We definitely get a boost, but it's all the same things that we've had before, really, just that. Um, Prey is better. I'm not gonna roll it just for now because I feel like we have a pretty small clan and we're just gonna keep getting more and more. Which is, you know, fine, but um, I wanna build up a little. I, I wanna see how we do with a few more members first. So the next moon. Sage Flyer will officially be a warrior. Cannot wait. 
Spell of Frost is letting Sage Flare share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. Spell of Frost avoid facing Sage Flare directly while talking. And Sage Flare spe uh, tells Spell of Frost that they'll save him a piece of prey. Great. Spindle Frost saw a two-legged kit playing with a dog, which I'm sure you're probably scouting out potential cats to get to join the clan, going around talking to two-legged kitty pets, um, and, and just checking out how everyone is, just trying to see if there's anyone interested in joining. Uh, which is just her speed. I definitely think she'd want to poke around and see if anyone was open to the opportunity. <laughs> While we have Sage Flair here being nervous. I think he definitely is um, a little bit more wary about bringing in outsiders. And um, after kind of learning all of the things that his mom went through, is now questioning whether or not this is a good idea. Um, I'm also going to show that uh, two things I don't have checked in is that they can't breed with cats their mates and they can't have an, and kittens can't have a second unknown parent. I don't know which one of these includes um, cats having you know mates with cats from like outside of their clan. Um, specifically because I've had like one checked and that something happened so better safe than sorry I have both of them off but I think after this episode um if you know any of you guys think it's a good idea I might turn them back on to see or just turn them on in general and see what happens so I think border patrols are how we're gonna get more cats to join. So I, I am gonna just send both of them together, both of them go on a border patrol, see how we do. Sage Flare notices some suspicious paw prints in the mud beneath the canopy. Let's check it out. Uh, notice the ground fallen trail, they don't see a blow coming. They hold themselves to their feet, uh, spitting in rage, but the rogue that did it has already turned and run away. Great, torn pelt. And how much prey did we actually get for that? That's five and one. Did not roll the prey last time because I did not notice. <laughs> Let's scroll up. It's fine. It's fine. All right, now let's just barely sleep. One day we're going to get a one one rolling sickness and it's going to be catastrophic. But uh, not today it looks like. Oh, that's fine. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I get really lucky on these rolls. Uh, for to see how safe everyone is. But yeah, back again with another injury. You're injured, but it's not gonna it doesn't look like it's gonna stop you from patrolling, which is great. I think more members have a higher chance of bringing in outsiders, I'm not sure. But uh, I think basically four what I want to do this episode is at the very least um, finish out the year, which we can do uh, right now, or close to. So, Sage Glow grooms their pot happy to find the tears and wounds in it are gone. Great. Um, Spongebob Frost is surprised to see that Sage, Sage Flare's life isn't as easy as I thought it was. Yeah, being the only kid around, only Tom around. Um, it's a struggle. Obviously, they can't have kids together because this is mom and kid, and it's just kind of a lot to deal with. So, yeah, I understand his life is pretty hard. I mean, hers is hard too, but uh, 
not enemies in this situation. Spilled frost appreciates Sage uh, Flare telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. It's cute. And Sage Flare always seems to avoid Spindle Frost attempt at small talk. I think he's just kind of wary right now about getting too comfortable and is just kind of consumed with his idea of bringing in outsiders and what that means to, for changing up their dynamic. I don't think it's personal. Spindlefrost is giving some advice to Sage Flare, probably telling him to that they brought in, you know, outsiders all the time in, into um, the old Ivy Clan and that there's an art to it and that's easier than he thinks and he shouldn't be too nervous and eventually they'll bring in someone and everything will be okay. Meanwhile, Sage Flare is trying to follow his mom and, you know, check out kitty pets, but it almost gets lost. Oh, I love that guy. He's just, I, I really like him. I love both of these two. I, I find them very compelling. And once again, we're going to go on a border patrol. Ooh, yay, yay, immediately we find someone. The patrol is checking along the borderlines when they hear a startling sound of hiss of pain. They quickly follow the sound to the source. It's a loner and they appear to be injured. Okay, the patrol appro approaches cautiously. The loner draws himself up, and but doing so causes them to hiss. Pendlefrost offers to bring them back to camp. Though they seem hesitant, the loser agrees. We get Duchess. Yay! And now comes the worst part, which is basically, are they sick? Um, we're going to roll a couple of things, basically, um, are they sick? And then if they're not sick, have they come into contact with it? Okay, so 67, they are a carrier. Great. Um, and is that a risk that they have, have they come in contact? Or, sorry, I did this the other way around. Have they come in contact? No, sorry. It's not the last thing. You, you do one and then the other. If they've come into contact, it with it, and then there's the chances of whether or not they caught it, their carrier or not. Yeah, blah blah blah. So, so many things. But l let's go check out our new friend. Duchess! A male, oblivious, very clever and a great teacher. 39 moons. Um, let's check it out. So handsome. That's great. Uh, you are in between these two people's ages and you immediately already, already like them. Um, I'm gonna change your name because I'm not sure Duchess is great. Let's name you Fog. I saw that, I like that. Fog is something. Fog. Great. Maybe I'll ask a fog tail. Let's let's go with that. We have a mangled leg. Great, but at least that is one new cat. I mean that that does uh, give us more prey that we need. Speaking of which, we need to do the prey, but uh, I gotta switch recording, so I will do that in a second. Okay. More prey. Four and six, that's ten. Okay. So that's fine. Fine. Four. Six, seven, 
Oh no. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um just a second, let me finish the prey. It's ten. Okay, fine. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I rolled a one on the immune system. Okay. Basically what that means is we've got it. <laughs> Our clan has been infected. Um great. So, uh, what does this mean, basically? It, it, it is not bad right now. It does mean that every moon that um, we have the sickness in the clan, it, it's going to permeate chances of, depending on the immune system, we get more sick. Um, right, so, yeah. Um, every moon until this gets cured up, there's like a one in six chance, um, that we can get that. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, look, the cat who got it is Spindle Frost, which makes this really sad, and, um, okay. Does she know is the issue? Do, do, does she know it is the problem here? Um, did I figure that out? Did I, did I do a roll? Can I do something? I feel like. Um, no. Okay, we'll just have to check next move or uh, we, we just get a check to see if she survives and how that progresses because if she survives the first stage then basically she's done she's fine but if it progresses then it gets worse and worse so uh, okay it's a one in three chance of survival of the first stage. Nope. Th that was not a one. So, um, next moon, which we might as well just hop into the next moon. Um, yeah, that's great. Hold on. I will be right back. I need to... I'm losing my mind. I didn't expect this to happen. I mean, I put it in the generator, but I didn't... Too many things are happening all the same time. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. I stepped away. I reevaluated. There's good news, and there's bad news, and there's potentially iffy news for the future. So, good news is Fogtail immediately level four already has a lot of uh, already has like a hundred experience in identification he does not need to be caught up to speed on the whole situation which is great it means we immediately get a 75 percent chance that any prey he catches is going to be good um which is super helpful in the in the early levels when it's like 50 percent chance that is really scary um issues is that it, it is going to be leaf bear like immediately when uh when we start this next moon and that means that we're down to our d4s for prey again and we are now dealing with three cats which means that prey has been upped a little bit and the iffy news is that every moon that spindle frost is sick and not getting better which we'll be able to, re to roll for her recovery every every moon um, there is a 1d6 chance of this spreading to other cats which means that um, potentially 
this sick prey that was eaten could be a run killer. By run, I just mean like the, the, the game, this file would be weird. The, this clan would pass away. Um, which is kind of iffy because she could get better. Um, basically, uh, there's a 1 in 3 chance of survival, and uh, if we had Medicine Cat, that would go to 1 in 2, which is awesome. But we do not have a Medicine Cat. And basically, after that, um, we have a 1 in 10 chance of that stage 1 becoming stage 2. And as I said, a 1 in 6 chance of um, other cats getting it. So it, stage 1 is the easiest to deal with. Uh, without, you know, medicine, it's just a 1 in 3 chance. That's fine. Um, because we brought in a cat that was a carrier, they will always carry an exposed stage 1, which means that we can get ahead of this issue. But if we, say, had a sick cat and they had a higher stage, that is less survival, um, especially without herbs, and that is higher risk of death, so this is easy. This, it, this, this is a, if we survive this, this is a great test run. It shows us we need a medicine cat, um, and yeah. So let's just run through this last moon hit, 12 moons, call it a day. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, so nervous. Please don't be anything terrible. Okay. Ah, Foxtail's dead, which means that we're down to two members. We've had our first death, which is not great. Not due to sickness, but still not great. Um, we are back down to only needing two pieces of prey. And we did lose a level 4, which kind of sucks, but whatever, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. And, it, I mean, that sucks, but we do have another cat. It's Dark Clan. So, Spindlefrost asks Sage for how they're doing, probably after the death, I think that's uh, Sage Flair's like, first actual impactful death. This was a cat he helped bring in to the clan and the cat he lost. Um, Spindlefrost asked Sage Flair about something complicated, probably again about death, and requested almost immediately when Sage Flair misses the point. And Sage Flair can't imagine how boring things would be without. Spindle frost around. So at least that is going fine. So hold on, strong weather. Yeah, just another clear one. Oh, wait, hold on. Looking at the wrong weather. Nope, still clear warm. One of these days we'll have a fun weather condition. It's not like I spent um, a whole afternoon once putting together fun weather conditions for for Clan Gen if I ever wanted to roll that. But you know, you do you dice. Spend a frost. Wants to get to know Foxtail better. Probably sad that she brought in this cat and he died. And Sagefire is craving the taste of bull. Probably wanting to get ahead of this whole hunting situation. Um, oh, before we move on, we should definitely roll our chance of survival. Because that would be important. Let's go up. Okay, so your... First we gotta roll to see does this move up a stage into stage two? That is a no. And out of a one and three, do you recover? No. You still have still stage one, but you know, it's not bad. Does Sage Flare catch it? Yes. Great. 
Okay, so they both have it, and that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. Survival? Will you survive? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. Immediately survives. Actually, I'm gonna re roll that because uh, I'm not sure I trusted that. Something was really patient well correctly. No, okay, he did not survive then. Fine, I didn't want to cheese it or anything. Wanted to do it fair and square. Um, every new moon will be seeing if the if this if these stage ones become stage two, but at least for now it has spread to both of them, which is um, fine. If we do happen to find another cat who is sick, at the very least, um, we will not get sicker from them, but we will. Um, if they aren't sick, be spreading it, possibly, so we're in a very interesting situation. At the very least, um, catching sick prey will not affect us. So let's go out and look for someone else. Uh, large dog, yeah, strict, strict mom is gonna say no. And now that's prey, that's one. Two barely, barely scraping by with two prey, and these prey are uh, sick. Uh, doesn't really matter because we're already in, already sick, and the other one was safe. So yeah, that was our first year. Basically everything that happened in our first year was Spinal Frost uh, just before the year started, basically last fall, um, lost all of her clan mates to sickness and ran away saving her one son of Sage Kit. She then raised Sage Kit into a fine warrior where he became cunning and clairvoyant and then together they met Fogtail who was injured when they first met, um, yeah, with a mangled leg, and then ended up passing away. They both had their fair share of scrapes, bruises, injuries, and both recovered, and they're both currently ending the year with being sick with stage one of a stage five deadly contagious sickness. So, that's fun. Love that. Um, wish them the best. Would love to see them next year. Hope they're doing great. Thanks for joining me. This was chaotic. I remember why I emotionally don't do this anymore for my private games because gosh is there a lot of things going on and uh, that's just the sickness, you know? That's not even including, I cannot wait until we finally roll a not clear, not one day, and we actually get something cool, like, j just just poking over to, um, to, to our weather real quick. Some of these are conditions that we can get are really cool, like, in Leafbear we can get blizzards, and depending on if it is warm, oh, actually, wait, warm, warm is an effect, oh, yay! Um, warm, warm, warm is an effect that, okay, D6, we can have a blizzard, I'm so glad I checked this, we don't have a blizzard, <laughs> but if we did, there is basically a D6 uh, chance of the patrol getting trapped and lost, and a D6 chance to lose a D6 prey, which is a lot of numbers, but I understand what that means, there's also... A d20 chance that a cat who is on a lost patrol will die, and in general, a d20 chance for kids and elders to die during blizzards, which is fun. 
I know, I mean, death is horrible, but it does, it, it's fun that it increases our chances. This is kind of like, um, I, I mean, I can't wait until that, uh, I forgot what it's called. Whatever the, like, super hard mode is for Clan Jam that's supposed to be releasing soon, um, allegedly gonna release soon. Um, I can't wait for that, and I made this as, like, a light version of that for fun, and it's, it, there's just so, so much fun, fun stuff that I've added that uh, we haven't seen yet, but I am, in a very morbid way, kind of glad that our cats did get sick, because I'm now getting to explain a lot of this fun behind-the-scenes stuff that took me a really long time to put together, so... Yeah, I, I, get, I don't know when I'm going to be updating this series again. I just recorded two episodes back to back for fun. Um, but I do hope that when we do pop into it, we can have some good outcomes. And I really hope the audio wasn't scuffed. I tried really hard. I, I think the issue was like, I was wearing a weird shirt when I was... <laughs> I was wearing like a collared shirt when I was recording Beetle Clan. Uh, which is where the audio was most most scuffed recently, and and I think I had my hair down. I'm not sure. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully, it's less chaotic next time. <laughs>